It is the final day of the high school basketball season. We have state title games happening in Washington and in Idaho. We'll start with the Washington boys for a state title game between Central Valley and Mount Si. A tough one for the Bears in this one. They were held to under 30% shooting in the first half. Meanwhile, Mount Si was shooting at a 60% clip. CV fell behind by eight points after the first quarter. Tegan Horde led Central Valley off the bench with 13 points in this game. And then Gavin Gilstrap had eight points and nine rebounds in this one. It just would not be enough though. Central Valley comes up short in the championship 58 to 47. In the girls 4A title game, it's Central Valley taking on undefeated Woodensville. Second half action, how about Chloe Williams finishing off the layup here. She had a team high 20 points today. And then how about Peyton Howard also doing her work. She had 18 points in this one and this one ended up being a tight finish so they needed all those points. Grace Gelgen ends up hitting a free throw late to make this a two possession game with almost no time left on the clock. The Bears put this one away from the charity stripe and went on to win the state title 59 to 55. Everyone looked over us at the beginning of the season, but I mean, we showed them who we are, and this is amazing. This year it was just unbelievable. We all had such big roles on this team, so it feels amazing. Post falls in the 5A Idaho Boys State title game against Bora. Trojans hung around tough most of the game early on. Colby Gannett puts it on the deck and he fights through a little contact to lay it in. And then Cole Rutherford gets in on the action, lays this one off the glass as he continued his stellar start to the tournament. But down the stretch, the Lions would just be too much. Austin Bolt had a big game. He comes up with the steal right here, turns it into points shortly after. Post falls, lose to loses to Bora in the 5A championship championship tonight 65 to 56. Idaho 4A state title game. Moscow taking on Preston. Moscow and Preston remain neck and neck for the first few possessions. Benny Kitchell corner three. It's pure. Shots like these are kept them in it early on. How about Blake Buchanan from the other corner. The freshman knocks it down but Preston took control of this contest from the first period onwards. Cooper Hobson had a day wide open. Drills the three from way out. Preston was up by double digits in the first. They go on to win 59 to 43, but it was Moscow's highest finish in state since 2013. Washington 2A Boys State Basketball Championship, Clarkston versus North Kitsap. Third quarter, Clarkston down 28-24. True Allen connecting from the top of the key for the three-pointer. Bantams pulled to within two of the Vikings. In the fourth quarter, four and a half minutes left. Allen with another three. Nails it to give Clarkston a 49-47 lead. And then Clarkston trailing in the final seconds. Out to Talia three ball for the win, but it's off the rim and out. And North Kitsop hangs on to win the two-way title. Final score, 56-53. West Valley Eagles and the Linden Lions at the Sun Dome for the state 2A girls title. Third quarter, Linden up 37-23 when Liv Tolker drains the three-pointer to extend the Lions lead to 17. And then the Eagles in the fourth quarter, Navea Sherwood takes the long pass, lays it up and in. West Valley pulls within 13. Later in the period, Sherwood with the basket and the foul. Three-point play makes it a 12-point game, but they wouldn't get any closer. Linden pulls away to win this one 60-38 for the 2A girls championship. To be Boys State title game, Brewster versus Life Christian. This one was a tight finish. We take it to 145 left. Brewster and Life Christian tied in. Cade Gebbers making himself some money at the bank. Lives Brewster up 55-52. Brewster and Life Christian trade some free throws after that. 10 seconds left and down three. The Eagles miss a free throw. Get the offensive rebound though. And Omari Milani hits the three to tie it at 57. Gebbers brings the ball up the court and is eventually fouled with 1.3 seconds left. The junior had 33 points today. This is most important one at the free throw line. That is the game winner. Brewster, the state champions, 58 to 57. Geber says it means a lot to him to win the state championship for his hometown. We come from a really small town. We haven't won since like 2007 and it's just awesome. Is this going to be a moment you're going to remember forever? Oh yeah, greatest day of my life so far. 2B Girl State Championship, Liberty versus LaConnor. Pick it up in the fourth. LaConnor had just cut Liberty's lead to two with under six and a half minutes to go. And Maisie Burnham with the clutch three to keep her squad in the lead. Minute and a half later, Alina Cook hadn't hit a bucket all game, but her first one was huge. Lancer still up by five. Then with a minute 15 left, Burnham left wide open. You can't do that. She can taste the state title. She finished with 22 points and the Liberty girls are taking home the golden ball 52 to 45. It, 
it's like unreal. No one can make this moment up again, and it feels so good to bring it back to Spangle for all the generations that have worked to get us here and bring it back to them. It's amazing. 1B Boys State title game, Odessa versus Yakima Nation Tribal. State scoring champion Ryan Moffitt only had five points yesterday. Today he got his mojo back big time. 30 seconds left in the first quarter, comes up with the steal, finishes with the hoop to end the second quarter. Three ball from way far out, he drills it. The scoring barrage continuing in the second half. This twirling layup made it 35-16. And then right before the end of the third, may I have this dance? Are you not entertained? Odessa cruises over Yakima National Tribe. 62 to 36, Moffitt had 28 points and as always, a dynamite soundbite after the win. I had a dream two weeks ago, we were gonna win the state championship. I never once thought we were gonna lose this game. Not ever, not ever. We knew we'd get out here. We are the hardest working team, we're the best team. We're gonna get it done. 1B Girls State Championship in Chileam taking on Oaksdale. Take you to the closing seconds of the third quarter. Off the inbound, Anne Marie Simpson uses the backboard. In Chileam up by five, heading into the fourth quarter. Four minutes later, how about Zalissa Finley? Put it up and in. Once again, a five point Hornets lead. Then it's Anne Marie Simpson again. Guess what? She's only an eighth grader and she's nailing huge jumpers like that one. That puts In Chileam up seven. Oaksdale couldn't overcome the hump. And in Chileam wins the 1B state championship 46 to 34. Lots of tears shed after this one. It's everything. I love this team. I'm so sad that the seniors are leaving, but we got people coming up that are gonna be good. We did it for our community and all of our people. They're so awesome coming to support us. We have like the biggest section here and it's just awesome. I'm just so happy. Undefeated Lakeside going for the Idaho 1A Division II state title against Cascade today. The Knights pulled away in the second quarter thanks to its defense turning into offense. This steal leads to an easy finish by Talon. Two teeth on the other side of the court. 22-13 Lakeside. Another seal. Day Day Higgins getting his way all day day. Another easy finish. 26-16 Knights. And then the last highlight for this one. How about another steal and how about another layup? Penyon spotted horse. Keeps stretching that lead out. Lakeside caps off a perfect season by not losing a game, and they win the state title 74-57.